Horses have always fascinated me. I love the workhorse. The workhorse is the best way of looking at me. Some people love to work, I love to work. So I get up, I'm thinking about work. I go to sleep, I'm thinking about work. A little bit of fun in between, but mostly I'm thinking and doing and happy in my creative little planet that I live in. The horse being that symbol of constant motion, of dedication. Horses are so, they're such beautiful aura energy. So that was, it just came like a vision of what I wanted and it felt right. And then to work above it was the sense of the muse that carried my, that's carried me. That's been my livelihood, my, my passion, my, my fantasy. I'm shy, so they dance. I'm quiet, so they're loud. I started to work as a consultant um, at Mermaid Theatre, which I loved. I did that for five years. Oh, and that was the beginning of the doll. And that little doll was such a world apart from anything else. And that led me to the next doll, and I just couldn't, couldn't really stop doing it. It was kind of consuming. And people who saw my little doll said they wanted them. And I was like, but those are my dolls. You can't. <laughs> well, those are my dolls. You can't have those. And I didn't even know they were dolls, right? They were funny little, odd little kind of strange beings. It took me, I think, probably two years from the beginning of the first doll till I actually let go of some of my pieces and then I just was supported. The work sold, I made more, there was more and more and more coming out of me and off I went on my journey. The early work, for example, I was very, very poor and emotionally very empty. I'd come from a background of abuse and that part of my life of course was being resolved as I became a young adult and I was struggling with that. Well, the pieces had teeny little hands and feet and they couldn't stand up and they were little stick kind of people and to me they were the same people I do now. So there was this sense of recognition of self. So as I grew stronger and as I took on more understanding of how to live from coming from such a lack, the work did the same. This show, for me, not only shows the 20 years of what it is to be an artisan, artist, maker, but it also puts those worlds together. The horses being me as the workhorse, the muses above them, and what I see as the future is the story behind the muses. It is that connection that is so profoundly exciting for me. And coming from my background, my background of early childhood abuse, all the layers that I have both healed and studied ongoing for the rest of my life, and the decision to not perpetuate. But I've never had a way to voice it. I've never had a way to use it in a way that can actually change anything. And it's always been a great desire. But this work took me and healed me, and I've grown confident, and I've grown capable, and the practice of my work is the practice of my life. Now I think I can expose what that journey was about, and the pieces inside, putting the writings, putting me out in a way that me just say to someone, this is a way, one way, that life can change. And that no matter where you have come from, no matter, there is, there is a journey, there is a use for your voice, there's a purpose in your life, and this is mine.